everyone, and welcome back to my show. My name is Erica, and we are cooking in my small kitchen. And today, we're making brownies. So everything out in the world right now is a little bit crazy. So, I feel like eating my feelings. So I'm gonna be making some brownies. And not just any brownies, I'm going to take them up a notch and put a little layer of no-bake raspberry cheesecake on top. And it's going to be so very delicious. Chocolate and raspberries is one of my favorite combinations of all time. You hand me anything in that flavor and I will eat the whole darn cake. Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I already greased up a little, something like a 7.5 by 11, like little Pyrex pan. I think it'll be okay. So like my other recipe before, I did not try it out ahead of time. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so first what we want to do for this is... We're going to mix two large eggs with some pre-melted butter and we're going to whisk that into our bowl. And you don't want to mix it too much, you just want it all nice and mixed together. And to our, bleh, and to our butter and egg mixture, we're going to add 3 quarters cup of granulated sugar right into the bowl. And we're going to mix that all together now just until the sugar is nice and incorporated in there. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I went to the store three times for this recipe. Each time, I forgot the vanilla extract. So we're just gonna do without. And with most baking processes, you wanna sift all your dry ingredients so you don't get big chunks inside of it. I didn't sift one time and there was big chunks of baking soda in my pancakes. The most disappointing of pancakes. So you want to sift it. So we're going to put half a teaspoon of salt. Oh. I don't know if you guys saw, but cocoa powder just went everywhere. I'm making a hot mess. Now that we have the cocoa powder cleaned up, we're going to add a quarter cup of cocoa powder. And we just gonna sip this right in there. And we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. If you're not a fan of big messes, baking is probably not for you. I'm getting it everywhere. <laughs> so I'm just gonna whisk that on all up in there. Because I want a very chocolatey brownie, I'm gonna add some melted chocolate in there. So I got about a quarter cup of melted chocolate that I did from semi-sweet uh, chocolate chunks and you want to make sure that it cooled before you put it into your batter because if you don't it's going to cook the eggs and you're going to have like I don't know but something strange so make sure your chocolate is nice and cooled. So we're going to add that right in there. To make sure that I don't over mix this, I'm going to use my rubber spatula to fold in our melted chocolate and chocolate chunks. So very gently, we just want to go around the sides of the bowl and just kind of fold it in. Look at how chocolatey it looks and just delicious. This is just going to be a big old bar of fudge. And I got these semi-sweet chocolate chunks that I just gonna add right in there because I want so much chocolate in these brownies, it's not even funny. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a cup in there. I think that sounds about right. And I'm just gonna fold this in. Mm. 
Like, seriously, can I just eat this? Is that okay? I'm not telling you to go eat it so I don't get any kind of legal reprimandation. But it is very good, oh my gosh. Oh. So now that it's all mixed together, we're going to put it into our pre-greased Pyrex. Just scoop it all out in there. And we're just going to spread it around till it is nice and even on the bottom there. All right, now that it is somewhat even in your pan, we're going to pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. Thank you, Alexa. And now we wait. I'm like drooling already. It smells so good. Now, uh, if you want to stop here, looks like a pretty good brownie recipe. If you just wanted like a normal brownie, but in my small kitchen, I like to make things a little bit more difficult. So I gotta wait. We need to let this cool before we can even think about putting the cheesecake topping on. Otherwise, it's gonna be a sloppy mess. It's gonna turn weird and foamy and just not right. So I'm probably going to let this uh, sit for about a half hour to really cool down. And while our brownies are cooling, I'm going to take out our cream cheese to soften on the countertop over here. Time to watch a bunch of YouTube videos. And we are back. I tell you what guys, it's really hard to wait for these brownies. So it's been about 45 minutes that I've been cooling my brownies and they're not completely cool so I threw them in the fridge and hopefully they'll be cool by the time I make my cheesecake topping. We will see. <laughs> so for a raspberry cheesecake topping, it's actually quite simple. So you're going to do a whole brick of this here cream cheese. And that's like eight ounces of cream cheese. We'll go and dump that right into our mixing bowl here. I'm really just going to mash this and soften it up a little bit more. So you want to get your cream cheese started by mashing it down with a fork. I mean, if you have a more powerful mixer than I do, it probably can handle it. But I already broke one mixer already. So I got it started with a fork. So I'm just going to loosen the cream cheese up a little bit more. Just something like that. It's just nice and loose, kind of spreadable. And next I'm going to add some defrosted Cool Whip. Just like roughly half a container. Take it and slowly fold in that cream cheese. I probably could have mixed the cream cheese a little bit more. It's very chunky and it's not mixing in my whipped cream very well. I'm going to try to save this by uh, mixing it up a little bit more. I'm really hoping that my whipped cream doesn't go soupy. It's okay. Oh my gosh, I was a little bit scared there, you guys. Um, so, I mean, it's a simple recipe and I almost goofed up. All right, so this is what, let me see, yeah. So this is what you want your uh, cheesecake filling to kind of look like. It has like these nice peaks on there uh, and it's holding together. It's not like soupy, it's not loose and I almost had a heart attack for a second. Oh my god. So now that that crisis is out of the way, 
We're gonna add the raspberry to our raspberry cheesecake topping. And I don't really wanna do fresh raspberries. I don't wanna add any extra moisture in there to seep out or anything like that. And I want it to hold up for a while. So I got some dried raspberries here. And we're going to see how that goes. I know that dried raspberries are super flavorful, and that's what I'm hoping. They usually have like this, their, their sweetness comes out and their tartness, and let's try this out. I haven't actually tried one of these before. Yeah, I can mess with this. And these just give you that nice raspberry flavor without being way too sweet. The one thing I do have to say about these, it does have a little bit of a toasty taste, which is a little bit strange. Oh, well, here we go. And I'm adding roughly a third of a cup in there of this, and I'll see if I need more. So my cheesecake mix is getting a little bit soupy, so I'm going to go back to folding these raspberries in. I'm just going to add the rest of the raspberries in there, because why not? It looks like Cheeto dust almost. Like hot Cheeto dust. huh? So my brownies are still a little bit warm and I do not wish to make brownie soup. So I put my uh, cheesecake mix inside of the fridge and I'm gonna let the brownies sit and cool for a little bit longer. Our brownies are finally cool. So as you might be able to see, there's like a shiny crust all over the top of it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of beat it up a little bit with my fork. If you had any anger, this would be a good time to let it out. So now we're just going to add our cheesecake on top of our brownie and then just spread it out evenly. This is already looking so good. Look at that layer. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Cause I have to wait till it sets now. So I'm gonna put this inside of the fridge to set for two hours and then I'll catch you guys real I wish sooner. It's finally time. I feel like I've been waiting forever for these to be ready. And I am so excited. They already look so super yummy. I'm very interested in the cheesecake topping, so here we go. Oh, I, I, I just want to eat like all of this here right now. Mm. The texture is so nice with this nice like crisp, fudgy brownie. Oh. Mm. I was a little worried when I was trying just the frosting on its own from the bowl. I couldn't taste any of the raspberries, but now that it had a chance to sit, You definitely come to that that tartness is definitely there from the raspberries, which is fantastic. Mm. Mm. It is so good. Oh my god. So if you don't like just a plain brownie, if that's too much chocolate and sweetness, this definitely cuts a lot of it. With like a nice tangy like flavor with that. I gotta stop this video and wrap it up 
before I eat this whole thing in front of you guys. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Erica's Small Kitchen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to maybe leave a little bit of a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> mm -hmm.